Right, I'm 30 now. I can only remember being off two times. Oh, his memory's going as well, you'll have to climb off. <laughs> and both of them were when I, when I was at school. One, school? What's one, school? One when it was windy. Why did yeah. you have time off? Because it was windy. But to be honest, Carl, that lasted no, no, for wait. seven years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your time wait, off wait, at school. Wait. Why did you have time off? Because it was windy. Were you windy, or was it windy outside? No, it was, it was a really, it was like when... Your when, auntie wasn't out of the window, was she? Yeah. When the winds were bad in the 70s, and I mean, my mum said, oh... Was it, whoa, 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 I remember Space Hoppers and Flares. I don't yeah. remember the winds being bad in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my mum just said, uh, you might get blown into the road, so don't... <laughs> <laughs> she had so much faith in you, didn't she? As a human being. Is that why she got fired from the pie shop? <laughs> I'm not coming in today, I might get blown into God the road. The, oh, God. The funny God. thing it was, right, Steve, they, they had this, this thing going at school, because a lot of people used to wag it back then. Right? Used to what? Wag it, sort of not go in. Yeah. Right. Right. And, um, they sort of tried to make it interesting for you by giving you a... An education. A certificate. A certificate right. if you yeah. did a full week. Re reward for the rest yeah, of your exactly, life. Yeah. Achievement. That I mean, sort of, that sort of carrot. And mm. also, like, let you go home at three o'clock on a Friday. Right. right if, if you'd done, a, like, a full week and that. Right? Yeah. So it was, uh, it was lovely weather all week. Then it just sort of changed on a Friday. And I got up and it was all windy. It was windy said, for Friday on Sunday, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, don't, don't, you know, if you don't want, don't go in because, you know, you might get blown into the road and that. So I said, all right, then I'll stay off. And, um, so why did she uh, told you to hold on, hold on to a fence or yeah. walk you there? What's this don't go out <laughs> immediately give blown? up? I love this getting blown into the road. Is that based on your cats that kept getting blown into the road? Well, so I got to, got to school on the Monday, right? And the teacher said, right, long time. today, uh, to punish you, you're the only one who wrecked the whole week, right? Everyone else came in, you didn't. So everyone else is going home at three o'clock today. But you're not. Brilliant. Serves you right. And, uh, and I wasn't bothered though, it was great because I said, well, you'll have to stay with me, won't you? And Brilliant. it was great. So all I did for half an hour was doodle and stuff. It was great that afternoon. Yeah. And that, that was ages ago. That was like when I was about eight. And that's one of the times I was off ill. Yeah. So it was, but that wasn't even ill, that was wind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Right. So, growing up on this estate, and there was a, there was this woman about four houses down, right, who's a bit rough, <laughs> right? Didn't sound to you. Oh, God, no. Right, but she had a Why? baby. Well, tell me about her first. I'm interested in this woman. Why was she... It was a very... She looked like a man in a dress. I mean, I didn't grow up in a posh house or anything. I'm sure. Not, I'm not saying that if you live in a bit of a rough house, mm. you're a bad person. What did she look like? But anyone can Tattoos? Clean, clean up. Tattoos? Look like they, Tony Green with a fag on. They didn't clean up much, right? Oh. Which... Even if you've not got a lot of money, you can still try and make a place look nice. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, and a kid used to take a horse into the house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 Neddy, whoa, whoa, Neddy. What do you mean a kid used to take a horse into the house? Where did he get a right? horse? Must have nicked it from somewhere. <laughs> Must have gone. you seen water in it? <laughs> no. What, is that from outside the saloon round the corner? <laughs> yeah, was it just tied up with a bit of leather? <laughs> right? Um, oh, that's great. I Did Big out. Jake come <laughs> looking <laughs> for it? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, sorry, let me get this. This was before the lynching stopped or... <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a um, horse from. What do you mean he must have nicked it? His mum said, where'd you get that from? I bought it. All right, then. But <laughs> keep it out of the kitchen. I don't want you going Catelyn rustling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did he get a horse from, Carl? Just... And how long did he have it for? In Was full... he leading it or riding it? <laughs> Mum, open the door. I can't stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> open the patio door as well. I'll be... Looks like we got us a runaway. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, but the oh. thing is, they couldn't afford to buy one because they're not cheap. So I'm just guessing. Maybe that's wrong of me. But I, I think... He had to... a horse? Yeah, right. So That's I... why the family didn't have any money. They'd spend it on the horse. No, exactly. I don't think, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they would have bought it. So anyway... Yeah, it's so... always to whisper, Carl, in case they're listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they could not, be in the room next door. It's not door. buying it, it's keeping it as well. Oh. Well, so, well, I, so I was, like, in the car with my dad, coming yeah. into the avenue, and you used to have to drive down it to turn round. And, yeah. Uh, and you know, sort of go back to uh, to our house. You had the traditional method of transport. Oh, yeah. And uh, the horse was in the lounge, <laughs> reading a paper. Just just like walking around. <laughs> oh God! This is... What? And when I when I was doing, I, I tried to earn myself some money once by flogging little flowers in in plastic cups. What? 
This is genius. It just keeps coming. What do you mean you're trying to flog little flowers? What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Let's play a record. Let's play a record and come back to this. Because it's always going to just unravel and unravel. It's going to go for hours. Let's play a track. It's deeper and deeper. It's like an onion, isn't it? We've created a whole world here where there's a man living with a horse. Just walking around the land. I come from the West Country. I've never heard anything like that. I just think of a big sort of like orange carpet and a rediffusion telly and this horse going, I'm fed up in it. Exactly. This is real. I am not taking the rubbish out again. Yeah. <laughs> right, play a record. Let's have uh, Velvet Underground. We've got that lined up. Oh, yeah, God. the classic from the first album. Uh, I'm waiting for the man. Let's come back to the horse in a second. Little flowers in pot. <laughs> what do you mean? Velvet Underground and Nico, which apparently peaked at a disappointing 171 in the US charts. Think of that. And that's obviously Lou Reed, the Velvet Underground, and uh, Waiting for the Man. Yeah, great track. So. We were talking, uh, we were doing White Van Man, and uh, we got on to... Uh, um, we got on to genetically, genetically modified babies. But and then Carl we... started to a story about someone with a horse, and then he got on to, he was trying to make money selling flowers. Just do the flowers briefly. Well, hang on, I just want to recap slightly. So there was a family, and who had the horse in the family? It was... Because you live on an estate in Manchester. The, so the, the yeah. mother, the mother was a right pig, apparently. Well, I don't know if that's right. You don't need to go that far. But, but, you, but well, what I'm trying to do is, like, make a picture for you so you understand what, what, what a picture like? it is. Who did she look like? Um, bit of a, and no disrespect to her, bit like Pauline Quirk. <laughs> Quirky, yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew it was going to be poor. Did she have any tats? Did she have any tats? I never got that close to it. Okay, all right. So, and so who had the horse? Was this her son or her no, husband? No, her, her daughter. Her daughter had stolen a horse? Yeah, from I don't know where. There was a, I think it was some stables down the road or something. And they, they kept the horse in the house with them. They kept it in the house. Did they, they get didn't caught? didn't have it for long. No. So, and you said you were in the house one day and you saw the no, horse no, in there. No, what happened was I was, um, they did this thing at school about raising money for charity. Right, for some local charity, and they said you can do anything to to raise money, and they came out with all these ideas, and I thought oh, that's good. What was the charity? Well, forget. Well, I don't know. I thought forget the charity. Yeah, that's I'm just a, a good money either. making over. So, <laughs> You're a charity. So, um, <laughs> so I asked my mum for some. Uh, cause she used to have a lot of flowers around the house. Sure. I said, can I just take some snippings off them? And uh, I'll go and buy some plastic cups, and uh, got some soil out of the garden, planted the, the the bits of plants in them. Yeah. Got a tray. Yeah. Had about 25 plants on it, selling yeah. them for 25 pence each. Excellent. Did you sell any? Yeah, so loads. Did, they, did you just cut, you didn't just cut them and stick them in yeah, the soil? Yeah, they want to survive. <sighs> but I think people sort of thought, well, good on him for trying. But anyway, so I went round to theirs, because I thought their house could do with a bit of colour and stuff. Yeah. So it's a bit rough. So as I went The horse went, thank God for that <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> they've, been, they've, they've been feeding me kitty cat. Yeah. So I got up to the door, and they opened the door, and it was one of them houses where... No carpet. <laughs> yeah. A horse in the living room. <laughs> you know. We've all been there. And, yeah. and the horse was walking around the living room. Oh. And it looked quite happy and everything because I always say that about animals. That beauty right? was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, think about it, right? If you were a horse, where would you rather be? In a little wooden hut with a load of hay or in like a house with a Central you know, heating. three piece suite and sure. a telly and that? <laughs> <laughs> telly and that? <laughs> no, but I was saying this the other day. And an Atari. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't go to school much because me mum and dad had a caravan. <laughs> right. And no need, is there? No need when you've got that sort of fun at home. Yeah. I used to just go away for weeks. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, honestly. Where'd you used to go? Port Maddock. But. <laughs> 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 and um, so you didn't go to school much. No, I, I did, but not as much as everyone else. No. How many holidays were your parents having? Oh, what, what, what was their income that they could... No, well, my dad used to work nights, and uh, he used to travel back, because to Manchester from Wales, it wasn't that far. And Manchester he used to, to Wales? He used to do four on and four off, so <laughs> me and my mum were, like, loving it. But what, what's... What, what, Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port Maddock. Just down the road from Port Merion, where they filmed The Prisoner. Right. Oh, so, so that's, that's cleared up for me. <laughs> yeah, location what, So what did you do then? You, you were in this little two-birth caravan on the back of a... Cortina estate. Right. Well, what was it? It was a car. I want the. Uh, what was Granada, it? Granada. For Granada. For Granada. What are we talking? 1980. Yeah, 82, 83, 84, right? 85. Okay. And you in, in the car down there, down there, park up. Yeah. What was it? What, what was Port Meredith? Port Maddock. Port, Port Maddock. I remember Ruth. It's just, oh, yeah. Uh, it's just a holiday camp. Yeah. And at an arcade and a beach. 
I was wor- I was loving it. Yeah. But, um, so so of the fifty two weeks of the year, let's assume I don't know how many weeks you take off normally for holidays anyway. Let's just say I don't know you go to school forty five weeks of the year maybe. Generally, most kids no. but less a bit less than that. Forty two. How many weeks would you say you actually spent in school? Well, how many weeks do you have off for summer? Well, we just we work that out. That's about what we six mean. off for summer, about four, three for Easter, about three for Christmas. Put it this way, I'm surprised I'm not Welsh, to be honest. Right. Because I was there more than I was in Manchester. Did they not? Did the school authority not come and check you no, out? No, they didn't. Didn't get Manchester, I suppose they didn't care, did they? Not really. Yeah. They're lucky you turned up at all. Would you just turn up for the last day when you could take in your best toy? <laughs> did you say that when you could take in any I game? Just, just play with everyone else's. Why, why, you know, I break my stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ooh, well, this answers a lot. This does answer a lot. The fact that you spent most of your time on the beach as a kid. Uh, teachers were no good at my school. We were right. talking about it yesterday. About so you were it. teaching them a lesson by going off <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. And uh, did you go to university? No. No, 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 no. Did you go to sixth form or college? No. When, when did you leave school? When I was about 15. Right. What, you just went on holiday and didn't come back? <laughs> I just got a job early, didn't I? Cause I Where was it? Port Maddock? Getting there. Getting there. No, I was a printer. BM Ooh. Print in Trafford Park. Have you ever seen, like, a bald pet? No. The, the, it's weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Because my mum, um, we had a cat, we used to get through loads of cats because we lived there. <laughs> oh, God, it's starting <laughs> early today, isn't it? What do you mean? It's got only ten past one. Just cause, cause what are you doing? No, we're in a restaurant. We lived on... <laughs> oh, God, what do you mean? No, we lived on, like, a main road. Oh, yeah. Right? So yeah. we used to get through a lot of them. Dad it was their saying, risk. You know, stop wasting money, you know. It's, it's not Stop good. wasting money, not wasting yeah. cats. Right, so um, anyway, we had this cat that was ill all the time. Mm. And, uh, it's just bag of noodles, probably. <laughs> yeah, Emily, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm terrified. I'm going to witch house. Vroom. Oh, God, bloody hell. Vroom. Don't, so, don't let me go to the Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> and it, 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 for some reason, it kept being sick all the time. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that is nice. That's definitely nice. So my mum... Thought, kind of thought, oh, I've had enough of this, and she yeah. shaved it. What? Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I know, I know you're not vets in your family, but what correlation did your mum think there was between you being sick and shaving it? Because it kept being sick, and it was a pain to wash, because it kept getting So caught she up. wanted a dry wipe cat. So <laughs> why didn't she just varnish it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's weird, it's weird. So, so, now, so now he's cold and sick? No, but do you, no, not. I mean, not all of it. She left sort of the back half, but sort of from from its waist, sort of. I put, love that shaving because it's sick on itself. Yeah. And that uh, is it's, it was the weirdest looking thing. I mean, no, normally I like cats. I'm always like giving yours a stroke on the head and that. Yeah. But as soon as she did that, it was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't thing. touch it. And then. So now it's sick, cold, and hated. Yeah. I love. I, Carl. It must have, I mean, the other cats must have been taking the mick out of it constantly. It's just making things worse. Did it get, I'm hoping that it got run over and was put out of its misery. No, I think it, I think it got all right, that one. Or is that the, yeah, it did get run over. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. How many cats do you say you've got through? I'd say when I, whilst I was living at home, I mean, it's, it's still on the increase even though I'm not there. <laughs> so whilst whilst I was there, probably five. Oh, God, where? Oh, yeah. and were you upset each time, or you just got used to it? It's it's one of them things, isn't it? Like I've said before, when you first see something, it's a bit of a shock. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's like the elephant man or whatever. Yeah. First time you see him, it's that sort of oh, look at that. Did I tell you the time when uh, the doctor said uh, I was going to die? All right, keep talking. Right, ages ago, um, must have been about 15, right? And, uh, at lunchtime there was this... We used to have a choice of stuff to do at lunchtime, right? We used to have, um, like a... Like a burger place that had an arcade machine in it, right? So we used to go there and play on that and have a burger. Or, there was this baker's, right, that my mum worked at. And, uh, did great cakes and stuff, right? So, um... She used to, like, bring some home and that, but she couldn't always bring them home every night because, you know, they, they'd cost money and she used to get them for free. And they used to say they'd rather chuck them away than give them to the staff because there's a chance that the cream might be off. Right. Right, so they used to chuck them round the back. 
So I used to go around the back with my mate and eat a load. Brilliant. Yeah. Scavenging, eating out of bins. <laughs> no, it was really, it wasn't out of bins, they were still in trays, but they just stacked them up near the bins, right? So this got out, I mean, it used to be a chocker. Uh, once the school found out, everybody used to go there and it'd be like, well, have a cake. <laughs> the headmaster crawling through, <laughs> fighting the kids off. Right, so I'd have, like, uh, you know, you'd just eat, I don't know, six jam donuts or something, and then you'd spend your dinner money on the arcade machine. Brilliant. Right? So it was a good, good afternoon, really, right? So you'd do that, and this one day I must have had six or seven uh, jam donuts, a few Congress tarts. Uh, <laughs> What's a Congress tart? Just, I love them. It's me. I can't get them in London, right? So I'd have some of them. And if anyone maybe... can get a Congress tart um, for Carl in London, please let him know. So anyway, this day that that was just a normal day. Do you know what I mean? You'd once, yeah. twice a week, you'd have a load of cake in your life. Yeah, yeah a so normal anyway. day in your life. Uh, were, were the frog boys there with the with the <laughs> webbed hands and the big heads so, and the horse in the set? Uh, yeah. But the day after one of these days, I had really bad cramp in my belly. Right? Yeah. I was like in agony, could yeah. hardly walk. So I said to my mum, "Ha, oh. <laughs> could hardly stagger to the free cake." <laughs> <laughs> so. um... I was in absolute agony. I said, I think, I don't like doctors, but you'll have to get a doctor in because I don't know what it is. I can't walk. He gets the doctor around. Uh, I won't say his name, but he said, uh, he said, well, doesn't look like he's got long left. Blimey. So I was a bit like, hang on a minute, I've only had a few cream donuts. Yeah. My man was panicking. Sure. He went. My dad came in from work. She said, oh, something's really bad with Carl. I think it's serious. He's, you know, the doctor said he ain't got long left. So he said, what? He said that and just left. So she said, yeah. So I'll have to call him then. So he called him up, said, uh, what's all this about, you know, Carl hasn't got long left, how long's he got? So he goes, oh, I was only messing. He's just got, he's just had some bad cream. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, the thing is... Carl, I like the fact your mum didn't ask any questions. I know. She didn't go into detail. Know, no, no, well, I, can I, you explain I, more, Doctor? No, I got us you off. I, no, but uh, she doesn't. She I, doesn't no, like no, I'm, you know, I don't want to diss you or your family, but I imagine if I was there, I'd have known the Doctor was joking. <laughs> yes. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, 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 I sound very arrogant there, but I imagine he went, what's he been doing? I had about six cream grounds. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Uh, he hasn't got long to live then. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think the Doctor did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love the idea your mum just let him go. Yeah. Terrified, thinking, yeah. well, I'm not going to probe him. He's, he's, that's it, then. Dad comes in. Hi, honey, I'm home. Anything happened? Uh, the doctor said Carl's going to die and then left. Go on. Watching a programme yesterday. Uh, and it was about these Japanese snow monkeys. And it was all about how animals learn things that aren't inst instinctive, particularly sort of primates, because they see other people doing it, and they start a culture. And they can pinpoint when these monkeys, when one monkey first went down and got in the hot water springs and stayed there because it was hot, and the others copied them. And now it's, a, it's part of a, almost a culture, you know, that, that won't be handed on because it's not instinctive, but has to be learnt each time. And, uh, you know, and uh, they, um, they groom as normal like other monkeys right but they're, they're really intelligent and um obviously the reason they groom other people other other monkeys is because they eat the mites but the, also the monkeys have learned they like being groomed okay so they showed this one monkey it went to a deer okay and it was grooming this deer to get its mite off it right but then it didn't eat it it held it in its hand it went over to a monkey, put the mite on itself to show the monkey had a mite, and got a free grooming. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. That is Because it gave up the food, knowing that if you put one there, this monkey would look for mites on it, yeah. and it would get a free grooming, and it was like having a little massage. What do you think of that? It's not bad. I've got some better stuff coming up later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on but, monkey news. On the official yeah, monkey do, news. Yeah, do you see that? Do you see what? Do you see what? Mine though. Mine's true. I mean, that's an interesting and extraordinary... It actually happens. It's social behaviour amongst primates. I, so I saw it. I saw it. It was, you know... Did it rob a bank, Rick, at any time? It didn't rob a bank, and it didn't open a hairdresser's. <laughs> so that's what you're letting you... That's what you're letting it's not, it's not quite good enough, is it, my monkey news? No, I've got some... See the difference where I, I named the species, explained it slightly, told you an interesting fact, mm -hmm. as opposed to, there's this monkey, right? And, uh, Look at him looking at you. Yeah, he's not interested, Rick. <laughs> can I tell you now? Can I try and describe for people the face that Carl has? I'll tell you what it's like. It's like if you draw um, some eyes, a nose, and a mouth on a balloon, 
and then inflate it to about half full. <laughs> That's what Carl's face looks like. That's what his head looks like. He looks like a face you've drawn on a balloon. Very small, the rest of the head huge. It's, it's just that today I'm a, I'm a bit tired, right? Mm. That's one thing. Why are you a bit tired? I just haven't been sleeping, right? Why not? I don't know, I've got a lot going on in my head. <laughs> Oh, if this would be like The Simpsons, if we could actually look in there, there would be two monkeys grooming you. Yeah. Uh, Plus, you've, you've been talking about, like, stuff that I can't relate to and that, so I'm... What, um, writing poetry? Like what? Reading books. Yeah, what? doing poetry and stuff. I never did any of that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? At, well, at school, they didn't, they didn't bother. They tried to get us to write more, right? Right. By, uh Giving you a pen? No, they, they used to give us these school diaries. Yeah. Little little red book, and it was a way that they kept an eye on what you were doing out of school hours. Right. right? So some kids would write down, you know, <laughs> stole a bike, yeah, burn a house house down. Yeah. But when I was at school, around that sort of twelve age, I, I didn't get up to much. You have no money. There's no you can do. So every night it was the same thing. I'd get home, and you, I'd have to I'd have to go to the shop, right, and get some potatoes and some bread every mm -hmm. night, right. And I kept taking this into school. Sorry, what was it? Dublin in the 17th century? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean every day you went to the shops and got potatoes and bread? <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I had to get all the time. That's <laughs> what, what had. Why? What did you have? Chip sandwiches? <laughs> yeah. Right, and, so uh, you went to the... Yeah, you went there. So I kept, I kept putting that... With your stick. Yeah, kept, yeah! I kept putting that in the diary, you know, every night, saying, <laughs> went, to, went to you, phase. That was the name of the shop. <laughs> yeah. U phase. <laughs> what is it? U or U? Like H U G H. Phase. H U G H. Yeah. Oh, is that was his name? U phase. Right. right. Used yeah. to go there, get the potatoes and bread, bread and that. I what, have to find someone who's named a shop after themselves. <laughs> I'm not going to say what we sell. It's named after me or nothing, or I'm not opening. <laughs> Mainly potatoes and uh, bread. Yeah. White sliced loaves, King Edwards. And the teacher used to always say, just write something different in there, make something up. Because yeah. like you know, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through to Friday, every <laughs> night it was just. Went to you phase. <laughs> Went to you phase. So you sort of, you, you Are you sure, to... sure it wasn't an advert? Sure it wasn't paying you to say, uh, get my name in the book? <laughs> yeah. The only, t the only time that it changed and she said, oh, that's, that's made it a bit more interesting, was when it was my birthday and I had to buy a cake. Potatoes and a cake. And she said, oh, that's good. Yeah. That was my 13th birthday. My mum said, I got on from school. She said, oh, you're 13 today. Teenager, big, big turnover. Go and get a cake. That's your experience of writing. No, what? Well, no, that's know, your yeah. experience of your thirteenth birthday. Oh, by the way, you're thirteen today. Go and get a cake. Yeah, brilliant. Big surprise. Yeah. Was it a big surprise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is brilliant. So, I love it. That's that, the only sort of writing. Well, yeah. and they never asked you to write essays or stories. Did anything? you never write a story or a poem or a... the stories I did earlier on? Were, you know, you, you made them up, but it was that thing that I'd, I'd always end them with, <laughs> and an alarm went off, and it was all a dream. Every single one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't, they didn't, I mean, it was a bit of a... I bought some, yeah. some potatoes and some <laughs> yeah. bread, but I went yeah, up and it was all a dream. Low, no, no, no. Then I went to shops and bought some potatoes and yeah. bread. But did, did you ever do anything that write about an adventure when you were a spaceman or you were in, you know, you were uh, a cowboy or... No? Uh, all the teachers, like, had scams going on, so, like, <laughs> in English, right, <laughs> you'd go in there and the teacher would say, right, what we're doing today is... Got a load of brochures from Thompson, but they say like 1983 on the front. So I've got a load of stickers here that say 1984. Let's see how many you can do in half an hour. You are joking. Did you go and to school with Oliver Twist? <laughs> Sorry, you are joking. I'm not, that's what they did. So the teacher must have been getting like a freebie or something for helping them out. You, is this... Honest, honestly, yeah, that's what it's from. That is fantastic. They were all after it. They all, all <laughs> they were all and, other than Mr. Fagan, you had... Yeah. And then when they saw Karate Kid, they had to do, uh, every kid washing their car going, wax on, wax off, hurry yeah. up. Yeah. I'm, te I'm teaching you something. Wax on, wax off, paint the fence. So I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's why I'm a bit quiet, because you're talking about stuff I can't... Can't relate to. And why, and why didn't you sleep last night? I'm just... I, I haven't slept well for, for, since I was about 12. <laughs> Do you sleep well, Steve? <laughs> but wait, 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 you can't let that go! I haven't slept well since I was 12. What do, do you know, mean? Do you know, like, a proper... I used to love going to bed as, as like, a kid. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, oh, am I going to sleep tonight? And, and I sort of wake up about four times. Right. Whereas when you're a kid, I remember really loving 
like go out of bed. I'd, mm. I, what, there was one time where I actually laughed myself to sleep because I couldn't believe me luck. <laughs> With him. What do you mean you do laugh you know, yourself? I've never had it when you're, when you're really tired and you get in bed and the pillars feel yeah, it's so cold. Yeah. And, and it's like, I can't believe this. Yeah. And I, I, it happened twice. Once when I just went to bed and I was really looking forward to it. And also when I, I helped my dad out once, like through the night, he worked at, like, at this paper company, right? And uh, <laughs> I helped him out and I got in at about four in the morning with him, got in bed, and I just was like, I, had, I, I was laughing my head off. I had to put the pillar over my head. Because I, I couldn't believe me look. Like, I, I was like, oh, this is great, this. I'm going to sleep. I, I just have to say, life up north is so extraordinary. No, but you must be the easiest kid in the world to please. No wonder she knew she could just go get a cake. It's sort of like, uh, what, what was he expecting for her to say? He was expecting an extra hour in bed, oh, yeah. but we got him cake as well. <laughs> go I to bed love without that. any supper. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. It, your own it, bed. How long was it before you got your own What did you, just, you used to do before? Just some straw in the corner? No, it's just that, that thing of when you're really tired and... And do you ever do this with Suzanne, though? Do you ever laugh yourself to sleep with her? <sighs> no, that's what I mean. She can't sleep because you're chuckling away. I'm just... I don't know what's up with me. I've got a lot going on. Carl it was in Heat this week, and uh, they mentioned that he does this thing on Sky. What is it? Uh, it was... This thing with Richard Bacon, some programme about watching telly, and you yeah. just talk about what you're watching, mm -hmm. and that. And he was annoyed, because he said, because his parents are not, and so he's not doing it. He's not going to turn up, because they he mentioned it in heat. And so his parents might watch? Yeah. Why no, are you I worried about that? I don't like him watching stuff, do I? I told you. It dates back to when I did Little Donkey at school. Sure. I don't want people watching me. <laughs> was that just <laughs> renew us on Little Donkey? What happened? It was just, you know, I was there to play the drums and that. Uh, in We Three Kings, mm -hmm. uh, I was loving it, you know, I got a bit carried away. How old were you? About 13. Yeah. Right? Really? Probably. Yeah. About 10, no, about 10 probably. Yeah. It? Six. Um, Jesus, between six where and old were you? What school were you at? Uh, <laughs> okay, you were playing little yeah. donkey. So, yeah. and, uh, no, 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 no. No, you but must... it was one of them schools where everyone sort of was in the same one. Do you know what I mean? Oh, a Manchester school. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just <laughs> the one classroom. Well, it's like... You, what, it's... sweeping chimneys in the day and then one hour of learning? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? What school were you at? Was it infants, junior or secondary? I didn't really do that. It was what? one way. What do you mean? You did that. That. They still have to abide by the laws of the land in Manchester. No, but it was a, it was a lot more... Like, like you had infants, but yeah. you also had, like, the older lot. There's kids there... When you're in the younger year and that, you'd see kids and talk, you go... Is that... Talk English and use terms that people do when they're, they're talking about schooling. I don't even want to talk about this. No, how old were you? What, what, oh. I'm thinking, I'm guessing maybe six or seven or eight. So you went from 13 <laughs> to six? Yeah, but like I say, it's hard to remember because... <laughs> Imagine if you were giving evidence <laughs> in a trial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know, I can't really narrow it down other than seven years either way. You know, theoretically, yeah. he could get called up for jury service. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, you're on... A lot of mates who I had didn't have enough money to go on holiday and they'd just get a present for the summer holiday. I would like, I would you know just I mean? like... Of course, I, they've got an education, so... It's yeah, but Carl, the thing is with Carl is, right, I want to give him gifts. Yeah. I want him to be have, a, have the loveliest Christmas ever. I want him to go pony trekking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I want to just... Scared of horses. <laughs> <laughs> so many things we don't know about Carl. <laughs> fell off one out of fate and uh, the woman didn't know what to do. She couldn't handle the horse. It was running off. I was hanging underneath, getting a kick in the head. No. Really? Now, hang on, what age were you? <laughs> this could explain a lot. I was about six. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, I think we've got oh, to the bottom dear. of it here. Oh, no, he got <laughs> kicked in the head by a horse, uh, lived in a caravan, and had to live in Wales half the time. Uh oh. Oh. Then no wonder this is your favourite time of the week. Do you look forward to this all week, these two hours? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> My mate, right, he, uh, <laughs> he, was, he, he was religious. Uh -huh. and I, I'm not, really. Um, but... No, I mean, you believe in ghosts, though, and shadows pushing people off bikes, but go on. But it's the same time, I think I told you once before that I went to the church with this lad because right. I swore and he said he was going to tell me Dad. Yeah. I was <laughs> effing and jeffing. So he said if you come... <laughs> <laughs> is that how they get people to church nowadays? I, I love that about a kid that, yeah, he hasn't quite got, uh, got the idea of the protection game. No. There's nothing in it for him. Either you turn to religion or I tell your father. <laughs> right, so, uh, so I went to church with him and that, and then the next week he said, I know that was rubbish and you didn't enjoy it. It's when I got kicked out for messing with the tennis ball in the pews. 
Right. I don't think we've heard that, but I don't think we could possibly <laughs> right. go into that now. Summed it up. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no. No, no we, come on. That's we'll it. come back that's, to that. You okay. had a tennis ball and some pubes. <laughs> no, in the pubes. pubes. In the pubes, pubes right. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> I, I went there and I said, I don't think much of this church thing. It's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> Sorry. And so you went to church and you ended up in the Crusades. <laughs> No, the, the it's called, it's called the crusade? the Crusaders. What it is, it's meant to be the fun part of religion for kids. Uh-huh. Right. right. And my mate said, oh, you want to come along? It's, uh, you know, you go on a Friday night yeah. and uh, do it on a Sunday as well. Brilliant. Right. So I went on the Friday night. It was brilliant. They had Sabutio, <laughs> uh, played table tennis in this dead big old house. And what do they do right. at the end? Say, oh, I hope you enjoy yourself. Remember, God <laughs> gave you yeah. all this. Yeah. Well, it's it sort of, you know, enjoy the simple things in life. You don't need computer games. You can play uh, table tennis and, that, mm-hmm. and talk with your friends. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all right. I think uh, you'd be happy in a Young Offenders Institute. <laughs> 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 you get to clean uh, the toilets there as don't well. forget, Carl, I think God invented Nintendo too. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, so that was all right. I loved it on the Friday. Yeah. I mean, mate said if you go for four weeks, four, like, weeks in a row without missing a day... Yeah. Uh, you get a free badge, you know, and like, salvation. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> yeah. all this sort of being stuck in stuff. Do you know, right. that's yeah. what yeah. Yeah, get down. yeah. Do you know what I mean, it's like oh, every day. Yeah. Right. So um, anyway, so so you got to come again on Sunday. So I thought, well, we'll have another game of table tennis. It'll be all right. Yeah. So anyway, I go on the Sunday. <laughs> who was this? Who was this servant of God? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I go on the Sunday. It's like a totally different club. There's no table tennis. <laughs> that's how they trick you. No sabutio. Yeah. They start handing out Bibles. Oh. And it's I like a timeshare like, thing. Hang on a minute, right? <laughs> they trick you. So, so I didn't go again on Sundays. I just go on the Friday. Just go on the Friday. Brilliant. And Brilliant. Yeah. I'm amazed no one else saw through that. <laughs> well, the thing is, there used to be loads there on the Friday, so they, were, they won't even notice if yeah. I'm not like. Yeah, do you sure. Know what I mean, <laughs> that I'm not showing up on a Sunday. So anyway, uh, carried on. It was just this kid in the vicar. Oh, I love that. You you got one over on the church. So yeah. I, I was loving it, right? Playing table tennis and that, yeah, and then no, no. Uh, on a Sunday. They found out where I live, and the head fella started coming round, knocking on the door. It's God. <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere, Rick. <laughs> Why did he knock? The fella... For like this. <laughs> the fella who, like, ran the club, he started coming round, knocking on the door. And I saw him coming up the path, and I said to my mum, oh, it's the fella from the Crusaders. Yeah. She didn't even know what I was... No. In. She, she, she was thought like, you were off nicking hubcaps and stealing cars. She yeah, didn't yeah. have a clue what I was it's talking about. You've been going to church. You've been going to church. I don't you believe it. little bleeder. That's not how we brought you up. <laughs> so uh, I said, look, just tell him I'm, I'm not in. Tell him I'm not in. And she had to keep doing this, and they were coming round every Sunday to try and make me, like... Go, yeah. go on a Sunday, it was yeah. really important that I went and that yeah. I was abusing the system and all this. Anyway, I didn't go, um, and then... Why when... didn't they just tell you on the next time you turned up on a Friday? <laughs> yeah. No, well, I, I, because there were so many people there on a Friday, you just get mixed in in the crowd. Yeah. Right? It was jammed. It was well popular on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. Right? But anyway, on one of the Sundays, um, it was, it was quiet for a bit, and, um, they stopped coming round. So I thought, right, I can go out again, right, on a Sunday, because I used to avoid hanging around the house. In what case it, sort yeah. of reign of terror <laughs> is this? It's incredible. Right. <laughs> yeah. so, so I thought, right. It's like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, great, they forgot about me. Yeah. Uh, everything, I can carry on in sort of normal life now. Yeah. And uh, I was playing out in the avenue. Fella comes round. Oh. And he goes, there you are. You, oh, you, you know, you're always busy on a Sunday. Uh, you enjoy Fridays and that, don't you? I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, well, come on, you've got to come with me. And I couldn't get out of it. No. So, I mean, uh, it's like, what could I say? Charlie says. Right? Yeah. So, um, anyway, he nearly killed me in a car crash. <laughs> so that was the excuse I used next time. He had a Mini, right? And right. he was driving us there, and he hit the curb, nearly sort of turned over the Mini. Oh. Right? It was like three of us in the back. So, I said... Is that a record? So, next time, was he, it came, a joke? Next time he came round to pick us up, I said, look, really enjoyed it and that. I said, but ever since that journey, I really, you know, I don't, I don't want to get in the car with you again, because... It scared me a bit. I right. said, all right, then. I didn't have to go again. That's all right, isn't it? That's extraordinary. Yeah. He almost killed you in a car crash. That's terrible. Right? Thank, thank God no one was hurt. Mm. Yeah. I remember that... that Your th- life moves in incredible ways. Yeah. Rather like God. Yeah. So, uh... So they're, pro- they're probably around there now, aren't they? Going, is he coming tomorrow? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to start on your... Uh, to Steve, because I've heard all these. Um, uh... Well, we won't do them all. Well, um, well, st- we'll start off with the uh, the Mr. Freeze. Tell Steve the story of Mr. Freeze. This is the first time he nearly died. This this is the most serious of the lot, really. So, um, what it was, do you know, like, um, I don't know if your mum and dad did the same thing, but, like, they do the weekly shopping on, on like, a Friday. 
Yeah. So when when you got to Thursday, there wouldn't be much stuff left in the cupboard. It'd just be like you know your Jacob's crackers and stuff yeah. like that. So when they'd when they'd been to the supermarket and they came back, I was like, uh, you know, what's that saying? Like a pig in. You know, I, I loved it. It was like loads of food coming in, loads of biscuits. He nearly said, what is that saying? He nearly said pig and shit. <laughs> right. Is that the same? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, so yeah, all this food comes in. Thank God like... he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise he'd have been in trouble. That's true enough. Because he's, he's culpable for our actions. Cause exactly. Because he's the producer. So technically, oh. that twat's in charge. Go yep. on. Right, so anyway, so there's loads of food and I'm like, oh yeah, look at this and chocolate biscuits and, uh, you know, penguins and stuff. Bacon. So, and bacon. Just in case, you never know. <laughs> so, um, so, anyway, my mum and dad's putting the food away. Me and our kid are like, he's already grabbed something, gone back upstairs. <laughs> it's like feral children. <laughs> it's, it's like a quest for fire. <gasps> and then they run upstairs. <laughs> it was, what did you sit under the bed, gnawing at some sort of pig's trotter? So, so I saw, um, do you remember Mr. Freeze Pops? I do. Yeah, so well, they're kind of like popsicles, icicles. Yeah, but really long, like yeah, a foot yeah, long, yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought, I'll have one of them, so I grabbed it. Went for the nutritious stuff first. Absolutely. And, uh, and like my mum and dad are putting this stuff away and what have you. And I, I rip it open and knock it back, right? Straight away, just right back like Swallow that. Swallow right it, yeah. But it, it went down the wrong way, right? What, so what I was like, your oh. shirt? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, oh God, I can't breathe. And my mum and dad didn't, uh, didn't even know what I'd ate. Do you know what I mean? It went, it, I ate it so f f so quick. Yeah. And uh, I'm sort of tapping my mum on the back, going, uh, uh, she's going, oh God, you know, he's, he's choking again, because I was always choking. <laughs> if it was one thing, I don't know if I've got like a small throat, <laughs> but, but I mean, even Ricky knows, I can't drink that much, can I? Yeah. Do you know, or I'm eat pebbles. A, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a, a quick drink drinker. I'd always, um, I think I'm scared of like swallowing stuff. Yeah. And uh, it was like bottle tops and mint imperials and stuff. I was always, I was always choking on stuff. <laughs> So, so anyway, she's going, oh God, what's he picked up on that now? <laughs> drop it, drop it. And so, she hit his, hit his nose with a stick. So I was going, oh, I'm choking. At this point, me, me dad had like, I think he'd put his, his share away, you know, his food away and he'd gone His to, share, I yeah. love it. Yeah. He'd, he'd gone to watch like, winner takes all of <laughs> in a lounge. And I, I was in the kitchen and I was starting to like, just, I didn't care anymore, do you know what I mean? I hadn't. I, I just got to that point where I wasn't struggling anymore. You just thought I'm done I just for. was like falling to the ground. And my mum's going, you know, get in here, I think it's serious. And my dad comes in and sort of starts shouting at me saying that's what you get for being greedy. He didn't even know what I'd eaten. Well, it was, it was the moment to teach you a lesson, certainly. So he's there like that and my mum's going, oh, look at him. And my lips were going purple and my eyes were rolling into the back of my head. You look like Marilyn Manson. And uh, so anyway, she grabbed me from behind and did that, that fireman thing. The Heimlich manoeuvre. Yeah, and uh, you know, winded me, and it came up, and I was all right. What the whole right. popsicle came flying back out? I don't, I don't, I, you see, that's what I don't understand, because there no, was nothing it, there. No, I mean, just a little bit. No, it swells up, doesn't it? Because it irritated it, so it went down your this sort of like your epiglottis. It went down the wrong way, like it went into your air canal instead of your so, throat, and it, it sort of it it sort of spasms, and that's the that's the fear. You just got to calm it down and relax. So, so in time, I would have been all right. Yeah, anyway. you don't. Um, well, no, yeah. you might have. So that's so so so, so that's hang on. So, but, but, so no, no, no. But the weird thing is, like for like three days after that, I felt like a sort of a special person. <laughs> I was I went to school. Oh, I did that, I'm saying nothing. I, I did full <laughs> days. <laughs> a special needs person. <laughs> yeah. I went I went to school the next three days after that. I didn't like wag it or anything. I did full days. I love that. Three days turned over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Did, after yeah. three days, you thought screw it. Yeah. Well, did, did a quick history yeah. exam. Yeah. But yeah. have you ever had that where you've like felt like I've been given another chance here? Mm. Right. Next that one. That's popsicle. That's popsicle hell. We call that. Right. Next one. Uh, which one's the next one? Oh, what about your paper round? Right. Can I ask very quickly? Did your life flash before your eyes like they say it did? No, I just sort of went really calm and like, I'm ready for this now. Right. I wasn't bothered, do you know what I mean? I you had no scared. regrets? No. No. Um, it was weird. It was really weird. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the paper round one. Uh, paper round, I'd still say it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> And he means it! No, I really oh. enjoyed it. It's like, you know, oh. you, you, <laughs> you don't have to work with anyone else, right? Oh. So you make your own rules. Just think of that. Um, yep. you know, um, you sort of You're spreading information well, to yeah, people. Yeah, vital information. Giving a service yeah. and no one else is around, you know, you can just do what you want and think about stuff whilst you're cycling around on your bike. It's really good. Yeah. So, um, 
So anyway, imagine the stuff he's thinking about when he's <laughs> riding around. <laughs> I know, I can't. Oh, so <laughs> getting the head of a salamander. <laughs> so anyway, I, I loved it, and even though I only got like fifty p a day, right? No matter what the weather was like and stuff, I used to get up at half past four and uh, go and do the round. And um, why'd you get up at half past four? Because I wanted to watch the Pink Panther at five thirty, <laughs> so I wanted to get me paper round done. I said, why didn't you watch the Pink Panther? And then, and then he, went, he went, oh, I can't sit there thinking I've got my paper round to do. <laughs> He'll ruin it for him. Yeah. So is it a good job or not? Go so four, four thirty, I was up, up and about. And this morning it was like winter, really bad winter, bad snow, you know, freezing cold, really windy and all that. And my mum said to me before I went to bed, she said, don't be getting up tomorrow. I'll give you the fifty p. I said it's not about the fifty p. <laughs> so you know, people want the papers and stuff. <laughs> so um, conscientious. <laughs> so anyway, I went to bed thinking, you know, that's it. I'm, I'm, I've told her I'm still going. So you know, whatever. Go to sleep. Get up in the morning, and uh, put all my kit on. And I, I used to have layers of clothing on because it was really cold. They had like a big anorak on with the fur on. I had like waterproof pants, and I got my paper round bag. And uh, I went downstairs to get out, and tried to open the door. And it was locked. Oh, God, I thought, oh, uh, uh, so she'd locked it so I couldn't go out, so I'm searching around the house looking for the keys. She must have hid them somewhere. I thought, oh, God, you know, I've, I've got the papers to do. So I thought, how can I get out? So I went upstairs, climbed out of the bathroom window. God. Right, and to try and jump out of the bed bathroom window onto the porch. But the problem was, I had so much gear on, I was like the Michelin man. <laughs> so I could hardly, I could hardly move as it is. Yeah. And I'm trying to get out the window, and I'd, I'd, I'm like, Try to stretch down like that, get me foot on the on the porch, and my bag got caught on like the hook of. Do you know like how you have a hook so you can put the window open? Right, yeah. The yeah, little yeah, arm goes yeah. on. My bag had got caught on that. I was holding onto the like the the wall and my foot on the thing, so I couldn't sort of pull it pull it away in case I pulled it away and then fell on my head. Yeah. So I'm stuck there, dangling, dangling. My dad comes back from working nights. Yeah. He thinks I'm a burglar. <laughs> Gets out his gun. So, <laughs> so he's shouting and stuff, going mad and going, Dad, it's me. And he had to give us a hand using a. <laughs> he's heard that wily trick in Manchester before. <laughs> he had to help me using a washing prop thing, a big stick. What did he do? Well, he said, just that hold on for your dear life, and I'll sort of push the paper bag off the hook. Why and didn't he go upstairs and sort it out? It was at that point where I was in the middle, there was nothing you could do, do you know what I mean? Mm, it's at that point where. You've just got to make a decision. Yeah. And by the time you got upstairs, who knows what might have happened. Sure. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You've got to act there and then, <laughs> not messing around. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so... And you could hear downstairs, now here he is, the Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah. Dad! <laughs> Pink Panther. Hurry up! Panther. Ever so pink! <laughs> oh. So that, that was close to death, cos I must have been about 30 foot in the air. Yeah. And I would have, you know, that would have been nasty if I fell. Fell to the concrete sure. paving. So well, and, um, there's more. There's more to come. Should we play a record and come mm. back to this? Because he's got more. Oh yeah, no. no, no. There, there must be one of them where you did fall on your head. This is the one I'm waiting for. There's got to be one. That was explained so much. Yeah. I nearly did. Nearly broke me back. Jeez. Once. My dad said I better can't kick me out. And I said I better can. And uh, I, <laughs> I don't remember this. You didn't tell me this one. You, you no, better can what? I was in the garden summer's day, and it was that era when like doing kung fu and all that was really popular. Sure. And I was like messing about in the garden, punching the tree and, and stuff. <laughs> and my dad said, <laughs> "What a kiddie must have been." <laughs> my dad said, "I bet you can't kick your height." Kick uh, your height? What yeah, you mean, yeah. kick as high as yourself? Yeah. yeah. So I must have been like five foot or something yeah. then. And uh, I said, "Of course I can." So I bet you can't. But instead of doing it on the grass, I did it on like the the concrete bit. <sighs> Kicked it. Actually did it. I went there. You go. But then like get my foot down quick enough and land. Oh, on you, you paused to pause to say there. I've done it. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to putting your foot back on the ground. And uh, landed on my back, and uh, I, I'd still get back trouble now. Do you? Because they say that, don't they? So, he th uh, uh, to cut a long story short, he gave me about four or five near death experiences, and he went, and the whole point of this, he went, so that's why I think I'm going to die of something horrible, like cancer. And I went, why? He went, right, you ready for this? Yeah. He said, well, I don't check my balls. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he said, I don't like the feel. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, have you ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one from school who had, had won a... Hook up with. Really. 
So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log onto his website, and then you can help. It helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And uh, we sort of took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and typing in your school and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them. Don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not going to surprise you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch. I think I remember. Her. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, posh don't, don't, girl, probably, don't be libelous. Don't no. say. Don't be like no. No. Oh. Um, posh. Uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris. God, yeah. Remember. Uh, Go on. You're grinning. What's the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just um, she was all right. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it was, she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What about uh, Darren Buckley? He was. Uh, he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you paint a picture. He used if, to, uh, if you do this in your history exam, Carl, you will walk it. Go on. So you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door? Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> Yeah. Or that his two-year-old son, Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Sheedle H Holm. Hume. Uh, Hume. He must be doing well. Cause it's He's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. The funny thing with him is, right, when um, I used to stay over at his house and um, his dad was a copper. And, um, and I remember his dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. I was like, oh, God, what's happened? And um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, do you know much about drugs? So we were like, well, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're, not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? We said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweet? You know, little sweets with the S on it. And <laughs> oh, really? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He said, oh, he was bluffing like that as a slang word. Yeah, he thought he thought because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, "Oh, it's a skittle," and he he said, "Yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom?" <laughs> oh, and it was like, "No, it's a toffee." <laughs> so, uh, Darren, uh, yeah, I know it's a toffee. It's a squid. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a, yeah. Carl, more people from your uh, past. Debbie Carr. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was another nice one. <laughs> one <laughs> what does that mean? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> no, she was one of them that you'd sort of go, she's nice, but you, she'd never be your girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? She was, Not really. Even though she was in the same year, she seemed a lot older. Right. And like, wasn't a teacher, was it? There was, there was three of them who were all hung together, and they seemed to hang around like the older kids, the ones who looked like men. Do you know what I mean? They had yeah. What did you look like then? Well, it's just that I, I had youthful sort of looks, sure. whereas like the older ones had like beards and stuff. <laughs> It's a gang of boys in the fifth form with beers. <laughs> Were they smoking pipes? <laughs> well, come over here, me filly. Oh, you, you, oh, you, Debbie Carr, come over here, you little beauty. No, but she was like, I love that. Oh, you know, hanging around with beers. There's the big boys. Oh, fishing. That's <laughs> lovely beers. I mean? just see a whole row of George Bernard Shaw's. <laughs> Brilliant. How do you do in history, boy? <laughs> yeah. They got an E. You're an idiot. Oh. They were like, um, you know, I'd be there, sort of. Plain punching people in the arm. Cause he's oh, yeah. oh, that's a great game. Oh, I love that, punching people in the arm. Is that part of the Olympics now? <laughs> it's, 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 I think it was exhibition this year. Right. But it's it's going uh, to be the Winter Olympics because you've got to do it in uh, just a cap sleeve shirt sure. in winter. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're uh, playing that. She, uh, <laughs> but whilst I but was she didn't appreciate that. that. She used to go, ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, I always think whilst I was doing that, they were like the Charlie's Angels and they'd be sorting out a mission somewhere because they were really like, there was something about them. They yeah. thought, you know, yeah, they're first, special. They were private detectives. What do they work for a man they never see? Okay, well, the, 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 here's a name I'm interested in because, uh, well, let me just tell you the name first. Uh, Adam Clifton. Hmm. Oh. Go on, what are your thoughts on Clifton? Uh, he was one of them kids. He was all right, but he had that thing when, um, if he didn't have enough milk, <laughs> he had, like, uh, wrinkly hands and... <laughs> 
white, 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 uh, white bits in his nails. Oh! Because he yeah. didn't have enough milk. Yeah. yeah. So, therefore, you didn't like him because you didn't get enough milk. This is not to be confused with the two people with the big heads and the webbed feet, is it? Webbed hands. Well, this was yeah, I that they were related. They must have been somewhere along the evolutionary sort of trail, do you know what I mean? They must have come from the same sort of stock. But no, you, you wouldn't have liked him. He's just, he's just one of them people. He was all right, but... He, he well, can, before you say any more, um, on, on Friends United, you can leave a little message which explains what you've been doing and uh, what's, what your, you know, your life's like now. And most people leave maybe two paragraphs. Yeah. Adam, I've printed it off. He seems to have printed... I think it's, there's about six pages here of stuff. He keeps updating it. And he, he just basically lists his memories about everyone. Okay, yeah. it is school and uh, what he thinks of everyone. And uh, he says, I often see Simon, da 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 da, he's doing right for himself, self employed illustrator, Mark Cooper, Carl Pilkington. Right. And your name comes up. Now, I don't know if you've told us this story, I think you may have done, but I can't remember the facts about it. It just says, Carl Pilkington with his pet bird. Was it a magpie? I can't remember. He brought it to school to show everyone and it flew away. <laughs> No, they do that, don't they? You show them that. What, you what give, was the story you give, there, you give them seed and they just leave. Them. What do you mean? Well, this sounds like Kez. Well, that's <laughs> it. I was a big fan of Kez. And um, <laughs> it was the time our dog had just died. Yeah. So I didn't have any pets and the cats were always getting run over. <laughs> yeah. And um, so we didn't want any more pets. Yeah. But there was a magpie that used to fly about on the estate and I managed to, um, to sort of tame it. And um, in the end, with, with became, a chair and a whip. What do you mean you tamed it? Well, it just used to sort of hang around it and talk. But how did you it. get hold of it? Did you catch it? Well, eventually, yeah, it used to just come to me. And I'd, the annoying thing was, it got to a point when I wish I hadn't bothered, because it <laughs> it used to pop me bike tires. It used to it used to sit on on like if I was talking to my mates and I was on my grifter. <laughs> like an Alan, Alan Bennett play. <laughs> it, it landed on my tyre and it used to peck at the tyre and pop it and then oh, it, used to, no. it used to then never go away so it was always like around the house and my dad said never bring it in. So he used to sit on the porch and I used to go out and it used to fly down and land on my head oh. and it really hurt. It used to like peck and stuff. <laughs> he thought it was a tyre. <laughs> so it wasn't so much tamed as a stalker. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. So you took it to school and it flew away? Yeah. So did you take it in proudly going, look at my magpie? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh but no. It, it, I think it got a bit confused in the area that it was in because I used to just keep it sort of around our estate but sure. the school was a bit of a distance away. How did you get it so, there? Carrying it on my finger. Did you walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it was happy there yeah, and then it got to... Uh? But it used to be one of those things that people would stop me in the street and sort of go, oh, what's that? And, and did, I don't suppose she called it Maggie. You didn't get uh, Charlie's Angels to go and find out what happened to it? <laughs> Investigate? Were they impressed? No, uh, not really. A few more names that you may recall from Friends Reunited. Go on. Lisa Shufflebotham? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember her? Yeah, she... Uh, Was she one of Charlie's Angels? She, no, no, she wasn't that nice, but she wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> her, and, her and her mate Rachel, I remember, I don't know why, but it was some sort of PE lesson where it had to be a bloke and two girls, and they were fighting over me. <laughs> and Could you hear what they were saying? They were, just, they, they were just like, I want him, and I, I was loving it. Stuck in the middle and they were fighting over me, and then the next week I thought I'll sit near them. What sort of game do they play at this school? I don't know. That's an incredible game. But I think punch just, me on the arm. No, punch me on the arm, they, Carl. They just, they just went through it because the following week I thought, right, I'll sit near them again because I quite enjoyed the way they fighted over me. But then they picked somebody else, and I don't know who I was with that week. So d you didn't uh, didn't get any action with Shuffle both or friend? No. And what? then as she got older, she went a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't look that good. She's probably nice now. It's just, I mean, I'll say about myself, when when you get to sort of the end of secondary school, you do sort of go a bit odd looking. Right. Do you know what I mean? When your yeah, sort yeah. of head grows funny. <laughs> I, I, I would just love to go back to his school of that era. I mean, just what happened to people, whether, you know, all people sprouting limbs and No, do you know what things. I mean? When, when you're like 12 and that, you, you're quite... No, not 12. When you're 10. When you're 7 to 10, you sort of look healthy. And you look at your pictures when you go, yeah, I was a good looking lad. But then when you get to mm. late secondary school, something happens. Yeah. And you just look a bit odd. Okay, well, what about Alison Thorpe? <laughs> Not sure about her. I, I sort of know the name, can't put a face to it. Damien C uh, Comer? Again, know the name. Yeah. Can't remember anything. No. Yeah. It's a shame. Well, these are pretty much all the names I could find. We've had some interesting thoughts, though, and interesting anecdotes. Yeah.
Anyone yeah. in particular that you'd like to uh, to say hello to that uh, maybe maybe listening now that no, you? No, I think I would have mentioned Darren Buckley if you hadn't brought him up. Oh, right. he, was, he was like my buddy. Yeah. yeah. Did so. you ever see the um, uh, Magpie game when you took it to the school and confused it? No. You're joking. That was the end of it, was it? Yeah. So where did it go? Probably uh, to some other kid. Because I mean, oh. it actually, it probably got killed. Because <laughs> if if it was being that friendly with other people, some people might have took advantage of it. <laughs> in what way? <laughs> well, there was a programme on the other week about... What, in the way that Shuffle both of them was trying to take advantage of you? <laughs> yeah. There was a programme on the other week about bear whisperers. Yeah. And uh, some blokes got really friendly with a bear, and then uh, the, when they were leaving that area where the bear was, they said, oh, we've caused a problem here, because there's some bear hunters coming in and moving into this area, mm. and it's going to get a bullet if it, if it acts like this. So they had to scare it away, and that's what I should have done with, with Maggie. I should have terrified it a little bit, so yeah. it wouldn't trust humans. <laughs> Just introduced it to some of your schoolmates, I'm sure, would have yeah. freaked it right out. Well, the ones Maybe that was why it fled. It, it, didn't yeah, see, it, oh, no, it didn't see those two fellas with big heads and webbed hands coming towards it, did it? That would have terrified anything. It's like a scarecrow, like a two walking <laughs> scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs>Yes, I'm just gonna, we're just going to be doing uh, White Van Carl, where we ask Carl the questions the son asked some other bloke. That's right. Because okay. we think Carl's got more to say than anyone on anything. Yeah. Carl only tells the truth, by the way. Just remember that, listeners. Off you go. Yes, um, well, today's white van man in the sun is John Slade. He owns his own door maintenance company. <laughs> um, his, uh, his answers are very informative, I have to say. But, Carl, what do you make of uh, the Channel 4 producer, aged 30, who duped a school into believing he was a teenager for a documentary? Are you familiar with this story? No, go on. Well, basically, a 30-year-old guy kind of fooled the school into, um, into thinking he was a pupil for a, a secret documentary. The school's outraged. Do you think that that's, uh, you know, any, it, for you, you know, it, should anything go when it comes well, to making TV? I think I've said to you before, um, there's loads of kids at my school. I remember being in the first year, and kids who, what, did, what year do schools go up to? <laughs> I was in the first year, what, what is it? Eleven. Five. Oh, sorry, first year of infants and juniors. No, secondary school. Eleven. Right, year eleven. Um, kids no. have beards and no, stuff. No, not year eleven. They're 11 when they first go to secondary no, school. No, right, well, I'm 11. The kid's at the, uh, at the older well, end. Well, there's a well, fifth form, and then there's you can leave when You, you can right. leave when you're 16, I think, can't you now? Right, well, kids who were 16 yeah. looked old. They, had, they, they did have beards. I remember going there and thinking some of them were teachers. I think he's answered that. Next one, what's the next <laughs> <Yep>. one? <laughs> Tattoos and everything. Um, I think uh, they kids in the, in the earlier years, even. What do you make of the fact that Mariah Carey's £38 million payoff has cost EMI staff... Uh, their jobs, and we're talking 1,800 EMI staff who have lost their jobs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean... I mean, is that silly money, Mariah Carey, on 38 million? She doesn't need that much. She doesn't need that much. <laughs> she has to dress nice, though. It's not her fault. I'd say, um, <laughs> it's bad business. Okay. Because, uh, EMI, did you say? Yes. Right. They've got rid of them, them staff. Yeah. Mariah Carey's left. Who's going to do the work? <laughs> do, you think, do you think Mariah should come back and do some temping? Well, they should have, they should have got a loan and paid her. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Vicious circle, that. <laughs> right. Have you, have you done, you've done a business degree or anything, have you? Commerce. You did commerce. Yeah. Where, where did you do that? What did you do with that? In school, I'd, I'd learn how to fill out a cheque, <laughs> pay a bill, and uh, I think I, I had a trip round Kellogg's. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you get, a, did you get an O-level at uh, uh, We know he didn't. You know. <laughs> but was, was there a commerce exam, or was it just a division of Can't maths? Remember. Well, did he fill out a was check? It a subset of it maths? It was an option, it was like, if you want to do it, you can <laughs> What was it? Fill, fill out, out a check, check fill pay, out a bill, check, pay a bill, pay a bill, have a visit round right Kellogg's. I around Kellogg's and I saw my sister's boyfriend there at the time, he sorted me out with some variety packs. Really? What was in them? You know, Rice Krispies and... <laughs> Good stuff. Cocoa Pops? Space dust or whatever it is. Space dust. So, sorry, that wasn't Ken Dodd, no. <laughs> no. That was someone else, wasn't That was an aunt. That was, yeah. yeah. That wasn't special K. Um, what do you make of fears that dumped Britney Spears, she's been dumped by her boyfriend, there's worries that she may be cracking up, Carl? What, you concerned? What, what are the signs? 
Uh, well, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just reading from this section, but I would assume that she's obviously showed signs of depression, maybe. She'll be all right. I remember, like, you know, <laughs> Zoe Harris, when she sort of got bored of me when I was a kid. Yeah. Get over it. I don't even think about her now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, and how long did it take you? How long did it take you to get over Zoe there? Harris? How long did it take you? <laughs> to be you? honest, right, it was like one of my first girlfriends, and she was a pain. I remember I went out with her because <laughs> she wouldn't stop hassling me, right? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't that. That. I don't remember that. That. Oh, go on then. I never talked to her. And then the bit that really got me, I thought I half liked her. And then I remember, right, we were at a school party, sort of infant school. <laughs> <laughs> infant school? Right. Are you sure it wasn't junior school? Well, it's on the cusp. Yeah. Right, when you're about to leave infants and go yeah. to the next one. Yeah. And um, she was crying. Because you were saying, I don't think we should move in together. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she was crying. She was crying. Oh, oh well, was she? she had you she stolen her milk? She was nearly six. Why didn't she grow up? No, so she was, she was crying because somebody had stood on a dress and put a bit of an hole in it. And I said, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh, so God. You... <laughs> I just think of him. So you gave her a slap. And I just think of him He's like six, like with clogs and a flat, flat cap going slightly bald. Going, for yeah. Christ's sake, woman, come on. <laughs> oh. Light my pipe. Oh. Well, I finished it because all the mates were saying, come on, Carl, she's upset. And I was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, though. No. Wait a minute. What do you mean all the mates were saying, look, come on, Carl? They were six, weren't they? Yeah, but they were saying, come on, she's crying. Help her out. And, like, and like, you did nothing? I don't know. She got injured. <laughs> got all in a skirt. Yeah, but she was upset and you were her boyfriend. Oh, well. So what did you do? Tell me the story. Where were you? Work out. You were at some kind of school do. <laughs> there was a hole That's in her dress. It didn't work out, he said. I mean, do you treat your current girlfriend in the same way? This callous disregard for someone's uh, current, His current yeah. girlfriend does not tread on her dress. Does yeah. she? Yeah. Oh, she didn't. So, as far she... as you're concerned, what was her name? Sarah? Zoe. Zoe Harris. You just felt like, well, you know, if she's going to make a whinge about, you know, a silly little hole, screw her. Yeah. You're all, you're all heart, Carl. What would you have done? I'd have gone over there and given her a lovely kiss. No, you wouldn't. It's the word. We were playing dead arm. <laughs> If you had hair, what would it be like? What do you mean? Well, you obviously had hair then, back then. What was the uh, style? Um, it was like, uh, sort of, I had, I had quite sort of, uh, <laughs> fine, uh, sort of straight hair. Yeah. Right. Um, hairdresser once said to me, you've got hair of a Chinaman. <laughs> ah! He was a wise man, wasn't he? <laughs> what do you think that meant then? Oh! He just said, he, he just said you've got the same hair as, as a Chinese man has. Very straight, quite fine, um... Why is, why is he telling you? I just imagine this bar going, oh, the arse would do well, didn't it, sir? <laughs> do, 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 do. Should I have something on that? You, brother, you have the hair of a Chinaman. <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing. You're not the spy. No, I'm not. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> oh, you're not like that. Yeah, lovely. You have the feet of a fish. I'm sorry, nothing. It's not you. Okay, next. You have the hair of a Chinaman. It was, it was one of those barbers, um, it was a cheap one, just on a, on a railway bridge. I don't believe that. Go on. On a railway bridge? <laughs> That's why it was cheap. It was very low rent, so he could charge. That wasn't a barber. Bit. That was a man with some scissors. <laughs> yeah. Did you go? Oh, I have to move you there, sir. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back in the chair, sir. That I was... imagine them on one of those things you always see in old films where you've got you you have to front down, down, up up and down again, yeah, like a seat. Yeah. That's, that's not as good as that. It was just a normal chair, little wooden hut, and <laughs> he did have to stop when a train came past because he used to. <laughs> well, because he had to change the signal. <laughs> Just making a few extra bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love That's that. That's Manchester for you. Oh, God. I, I always oh, it wasn't him. Bernard Cribbins, was it? <laughs> I always remember him saying, do you want your hair washing? And I said, uh, is it free? You know, does it come with it? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, go on then. He said, hang on now, I'll just have to wash these mugs up. He had like a sink full of mugs. Oh, God. He said, I'll God. just take these out and then I can wash your head. <laughs> oh, no. And that's why. <laughs> why did you go to this man? It was cheap. It was How like, much was it? About two quid. And when was this? Uh, God, at 80, 88, 89. All right. Yeah. So what happened to your, uh, your Chinese hair? Uh, when did it start coming out? You have, you have the hair of a bald Chinaman now, yeah. don't you? <laughs> You've got the hair of a Chinaman in a box now. <laughs> 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 oh. I used to just um, work, a, work a lot of hours, and I think <laughs> that's what made it fall out. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's no, it's not. Way. It's genetic. You can't. Stop it's not it, genetic. Of course it is. Is your dad bald? 
Uh, no, it's, um, it's got more hair than me now, I think. Is your mum? Uh, Kojak's got more hair than you, Carl. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't have a go at Carl's hair, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, look at his little well, what, face. What did it say before in that book about going bald? It said, uh, it had a little tip, didn't it? We'll, we'll go over them later. Uh, it says, uh, if you're going thin, doesn't it say, um, cut your hair short and something like that? So it so makes you look thicker. <laughs> I've never been into getting presents and that. I had the problem at that Christmas one, that time with the Victoria Plum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd right. hate that. We'd we've, hate to bring that back. We've done that. Because <laughs> you talked about the book, because it's kind of to do with your dad, isn't it? He's he's a very bad gift buyer, was that the problem? Well, yeah, my dad's... I mean, my dad just wouldn't bother. It, it was my mum who sort of made an effort and she sort of worked out half of what I wanted, then she left it to me dad to get it off someone, see if he could get one cheap or whatever. Uh, what is that? I love the fact that usually people talk about, like, drinking heavily yeah. or, um, uh, violent abuse, right? Yeah. But here's what he's been left with and scarred with from, from parents is bad gift buying. Yeah. And that's the Victoria so Plum incident. In the greatest scheme of things in the world, yeah, but... that's not a bad thing to have, is it? <laughs> Right, there was this, there was this, this is what it's like about getting presents and stuff, right? Mm. With me, with my mum and dad. Go on. My mate, Colin, right? He Colin had, uh, No, Colin Bailey. Oh, right? yeah. He had a, uh, little, uh, Sinclair Spectrum, right? Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Which was like the, the, the thing to oh, have at that yeah, time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You saw always go round to his house. The it's deal was... Not the one you had to play through the window, because you weren't allowed no, to... No, no, that's another lad, oh, right? yeah. This is, this is a different lad. And the deal was, he came to our house, and my mum gave him a pie. <laughs> And then I'd go round to his and I'd stay there for a few hours playing, you know, Hungry Oris and stuff like that on it. <laughs> sure. right? Now, my mum and dad knew that I really wanted one of these computers, right? So I waited about a year, came round to Christmas Day, I thought I reckon I uh, might have one. Turned out they bought me the wrong one, they bought me a ZX81 instead <laughs> of a Spectrum, right? And Christmas Day, I'm there trying to load the games up, it's not working, I'm thinking, what's wrong, right? And the thing with me, when I was a kid, I used to get quite, sort of, agitated This, quite is, the, this is the moment. Right? I found out that he needed a RAM pack to make it work, right? Looking in the thing and it's saying, and, and make sure you put your RAM pack in the back. And I was like, oh, where's the RAM pack? And my dad's going, I don't know, I've got you the main bit, that's, that's it. So, I was that wound up. I just was sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> just sick. I, I didn't feel sick or anything, I just was like, oh god. Went to the sink, just, just sick. Cos I was that on edge about it. I said, come on, we've got to get one. And my dad's like, tandy shut, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get anything today. Ruined again, Christmas day. That was after the year when my train set got blown up by our kid. The following year, no ram pack. And now you ask me why don't I get good presents? He's scared. <laughs> He just, just I'm gonna die. Honestly, I'm gonna die. The only thing is just clean sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's no ramp pack. <laughs> Why was, did you get to the bottom of it? Why wasn't there a ramp pack? You have to buy them separate. Oh, just okay, them okay. What do you mean I can't play Frogger? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, um, there wasn't there another incident when you threw up? Spontaneously threw up? Oh. Through sheer anxiety? I, I do get it. It's, uh, it's not so much now, because I've, I've relaxed a bit, but as a kid I used to be quite on edge all the time with certain things. Do you think that's what happened to your the cat? The wind that kept being sick. That it didn't get the food it wanted. And it just threw up. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. God, so they shaved it. <laughs> yeah, but again, you see, the cat thing... I mean, it's mad, I was thinking about it the other day, right? I, I used to think I had quite a normal upbringing. <laughs> you didn't. Right, and someone was talking your about Your mother once told you not to go to school because it was windy, Cole. It yeah, was not I, a normal upbringing. The cat was being sick, so she shaved it, so it was easier to clean. <laughs> right, well, my mum and dad went on holiday, right, and I stayed at the Rosses down the road. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Only a kid, must have been about five or something, right? And, uh, I was always running around in the house. I had a lot of energy as a kid. What the Rosses did, they had this cat that was dead violent, the most violent sort of angry cat I have ever witnessed. <laughs> a tiger? It was, it, honestly Steve, if it was bigger it would have been, because it was just always having a go at you. Yeah. If you went to pat it on the head, it went to bite you and stuff. And what they used to do with it, to stop me running around, I'd sort of be running around, and then I'd get a bit tired, and they'd say, have a lie down on the settee. So I'd, I'd lie down on the settee and I'd nod off, and what they used to do, I'd wake up and they'd have put the cat on my belly. <laughs> right? So I'd be scared to move because it's like it's going to get me. 
<laughs> but it would keep you there. It, it kept me there, and it used to sort of slaver on me, and they'd sort of, you know, go out or whatever, and I'd be lying there. That's not normal, is it? Carl, sorry, were you created by the Brothers Grimm <laughs> for one of their fairy tales? What kind of a life is that? <laughs> <laughs>